Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7 and we're back with possibly the most disgusting driver you will see on Gran Turismo 7 and possibly online racing. This guy is an absolute idiot. Now we came across him recently in Daily Race so you can see him there, Klaxon in P11, but we had already met him the week before in Group 1 at Interlagos. Now watch this, we're going along the straight in the Group 1 cars going for the braking zone and he just goes for an absolute send, takes us out completely. Disgusting drive and I think you'll agree. Now, that was the first time we ever came across him. Never really seen him before and then again, we come into Lagoon Seeker and he is here now. So, you know, if you've come across drivers like these, let me know in the comment section. Also, does drive do drivers like this put you off going online? I wanna know in the comment section, should PD be doing more to limit their access to the online part of the game when drivers are performing like this in races? Now. I'm gonna be honest, if someone tries to take me out two, three, four times, sometimes I'll retaliate if it's a fourth time. I'm, you know, if someone's deliberately trying to take you out, I'll retaliate. But in this race, you're gonna see, we don't give him any retaliation. He just has a mission to try and take us out. So we're gonna skip ahead to the end of lap four here. We're in P13 and we're about to get up to P12, you see here. P12 going for a move. Now I had a little look up the inside here and I decided to back out of that. You see, he was gonna block that. So probably would have been a wrong move. I think that was too optimistic for me. So I backed out of that one and decided to wait and possibly go for a move into the final corner. Now looking up ahead, we can see a group of cars. We have a little look up the inside here. Gonna go down the right hand side. We can't go for a move on the inside. It would have been too much of a lunge again. But we see there's an issue there with the South African driver and Klaxon has just had an incident there. It looks like Klaxon has just taken out that Porsche. Now I think that is exactly what has happened there. I believe he has took him out and pushed him off. So he's done one push the pass move and now we are behind Klaxon. Um, we have a little bit of a hit from behind there, but luckily doesn't really ruin our race. Um, now we're gonna be going past him. Now I thought at this stage, didn't really, I knew, I remembered him from Interlagos, but I thought, you know, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not gonna take him out. We'll try and get past him cleanly. Now he seems to open the door up here and completely let me through. See, so he stays to the left. So I thought, all right, okay. He's actually gonna let us through and maybe he's changed from previous. However, what you're about to witness is he's not changed because look at his line now straight into us and again completely takes us out and rams us off into the side of the track now watching his view you'll see what i'm saying it does look like he's going to give us a position so he stays wide leaves the door open so i take that thinking right okay he's obviously racing fair now he's maybe changed you know changed turned over a leaf but no he's going to go straight into us and take us out now this for me warrants this kind of driving for me personally i think warrants a ban off the game I know some people are going to say it's only a game and all that, but it's it's sport mode. This is the competitive side of the game. I know it's only a daily race, but still, if you're driving like that, I think it says a lot about that person as an individual. And yeah, I personally think that PD needs to start doing more to get rid of these drives. So again, we go for a move and I was going to go up the left-hand side and he actually braked there. I think he was trying to stop us and brake check us. He was going to take me out no matter what. So we're going to be ultra cautious here and try and find the way past him. So as we come through the corkscrew, I have a little look up the left hand side here and then go I back out of it. I'm too hesitant. Then I see a gap. I go for it. But then again, he's going to take us out. You see it in the mirror completely takes us out yet again. So again, you're going to watch it. You'll see what he does. He's just going to go for that move and completely wipe us out. So again, we're behind him again now for a second time. This is a different lap now. And we go up the inside and now he's going to try and take us out again, but he completely misses this time and goes off into the gravel. So third time, he it completely messes it up himself and that promotes us up the position. And now we're that far behind, you know, race is over pretty much from that point. But you're going to see at this point here how what he does. So we go up the inside. Now I break there because I wasn't sure what he was going to do. But this time when he tries to take me out, I take a tighter line than him and he completely misses and ends up in the gravel. So a little bit silly on his part. He can't even do that properly. And then what you're gonna see here is once he knows that his race is over and we're past him and he can't catch us, he is actually gonna rage quit the race. So he's gonna go off into the gravel and quit out now because he's done what he wanted to do. He's wrecked our race and yeah, that race over. But we're gonna carry on. We're on lap four, we're in P14, 47 seconds behind the leader. So we're a long way back. Um, not much we can do, but we're going to see if we can fight our way into the top 10 and push on. So we're going to skip through to the pit stop phase. You can see we're in P11 at this stage. And obviously we've caught up a little bit because the leader has pitted there. And we're going to do a 7-7 divide. Seven laps on the hard tyre, seven laps on the medium tyre. Now the tyre model has changed today with the new update. You can go a lot longer on the mediums, but they do fade a little bit more at the end now. So tyre model a little bit closer to how it originally was probably better now because you can actually do some undercuts with some early stops and stuff but we're going to skip to lap nine now you can see we're on the medium tire and we're down in p13 most people have pitted at this stage 
and we see we're in P13 there now. So we're starting to catch people up. So you can see we've actually gained on the leader at this stage. We're now four or five seconds closer to the leader, even though we've been fighting our way through, you know, through the pit stop phase with a little bit of traffic here and there. And we're now into P13. Now, one thing I'm going to point out is this is not the end of Klaxon because we are going to rejoin with some Klaxon action after this race because not only did he try and wreck our race once, he went for a second time and yeah, it was just as bad the second time. So make sure you stick around for when we get into race two because we're going to come across Mr. Klaxon again. But you can see we're going to go up the left hand side here and put ourselves up into P12. No, we're not. We're going to actually back out of that one. Um, it would have been a bit risky going side by side through there, so decided to back out. We're going to have a little look up the inside here. We've got the inside, and we're going to keep it nice and tight. Now the car next to us gets too wide, goes onto the gravel and spins, and that's a free position for us, and now up to P12. So now we can at least see P9 in the distance there. So we know a top 10 is definitely possible in this race. We've got like five laps to go, and yeah, a lot of racing still to go. We can try and recover something from this battle. So we're gonna watch the replay camera going down the straight into turn one. Can we line up a move? We're gonna to go to the left-hand side and go for a move into turn one, break a little bit later. Nice clean move up the inside. P12 just seems to lift a little bit there and let us take the inside line. And now that is us up to P11. Now we're gonna see if we can go for P10. We've got the Spanish driver in front of us. Can we find the way past him through the twisty section here? Now following at this track is very, very difficult. We all know that on this game with a current system of turbulent air. Very, very difficult, even in group three cars. Extremely difficult to follow. So we're gonna go up the inside here. Now we go for a move, we got the inside line and we managed to make that one up into P10. So now we go into P9 as the South African driver there has a massive moment. Looks like he's got onto the curb, spun and he's out. So we've got a nice gap now, seven seconds, which we caught up pretty quickly. You can see by lap 11, we are now right behind P8 and challenging for P8. So we've got P7 and P8 in front of us. Can we get ourselves up two more positions in this race? These two look like they're struggling. We've got a Corvette in front of us as well, which is not the best car for this race. It's really not that quick around here. So we should be able to find a way past both of these if we can. Let's see if we can go up the inside here. We're gonna try and get the run up the inside. Will he leave the door open? I decide to back out of that one. Not worth sending it through there. However, we get a better exit from the corner and now we've got the outside line. Can we go all the way around the outside and carry the car? completely around the outside. We break nice and late, manage to take that position and up into P8. It gives us a little hit on the exit, but luckily managed to keep the car on the track. And now we're gonna see if we can push up to P7. So now it's about trying to get past that Corvette. Shouldn't be too hard really with that car. It's got good straight line speed on acceleration, but really the car's not as strong. But look behind us here. Car behind goes for a little bit of a savage lunge there, but I do think he backs out after the move. You can see he seems to realize that he's made a mistake and doesn't carry on. He backs out and just makes sure he stays behind. So do you know what? If you make a mistake like that, no problem. He's made the mistake. He's backed out. He's not tried to carry on overtake him and it was an error. So no harm done there. We're still in P8 and now we're going to try and push on for P7 in this race. So working our way down the finish line now and we've got two more laps to go and we're in P8 at the moment. Can we somehow get ourselves up into P7? That Corvette, very strong on the straights. You can see it pulls out of these corners pretty well. Um, I'm not sure if he was on the medium tires or the hard tires. He possibly was on the mediums also, but we should be able to find a way past once we get through to a point where we can actually overtake. We have a little look up the inside here, but break early. Can we figure a way through on the exit here? He's gone a bit deep into that corner. That's gonna give him the opportunity to go up the inside into this right-hand corner, and that job is done and up into P7. So. Put ourselves into P7 after the start of the race that we had. Not a bad recovery so far, considering all that's happened. And then someone else, I think, has quit. I think they've crashed and quit. So that promotes us up to P6. And yeah, not too bad in the end. We finished the race in P6 and actually pretty close to P5 and P4. Not too far off these guys. So yeah, if we didn't have that driver in, I think we actually could have battled for P. We definitely would have been P2. I don't know how close we would have got to P1. Probably would have been about five or six seconds off him, but still. He, that driver just cleared Claxon, just wanted to ruin our race. And it's not the first time he's done it like in Interlagos, but we come across him again in the next race you see there. He's starting from P10, we are starting from P13, and he's gonna try the same thing again. As one driver there straight away after the start wants to go the reverse layout and goes the complete wrong direction. In all honesty, that is extremely easy to do on that curb with the way this game does the rolling starts. It's another matter that needs to be looked at by PD with the rolling starts. Way too spread out, we need closer rolling starts, but yeah. We're going to go up into P11 as the Corvette just completely lets us through. Now, look in the distance here. We see Klaxon again and the South African driver coming together 
and Claxon is just out to destroy other drivers as well. It's clear he's completely wiped out the South African driver into the barrier there. And now we are into P10 and we've got Mr. Claxon in front of us, who is again going to try and ruin our fun at this combination. So we're going to come to the end of lap um, one where we've started to catch him up and now we're in opportunity to try and go past him. Now, we could easily have took him out here after what he did to us in the previous race, but I wanted to race it fair. So we stayed to the left-hand side and we're going to try and go past him on the left. Now, he tries to take us out here, so you're going to see he's going to try and push us in. No, he doesn't actually try and take us out there, which I was surprised at. But no, what he's going to do is go for an ulterior motive. motive. Let, him, let us pass and then take us out. You can see... He lets us pass and then completely wipes us out again. So, no real surprise there. He's not going to race fair. And I think we know what he's like now. Every time we come up against him, he's going to try and do it. And be cautious, people, because I'm not the only person that's mentioned this about Claxon. There's been quite a few people in the comments are saying that he's done this to them multiple times. So, my advice to you is take it very easy around him. I will obviously be forwarding this report on to PD. I've got someone who I can send this direct video to. So they are going to be taking a look at it. They took a look at some of the ones in the past. And hopefully they'll have some actions being taken in the future with regards to these drivers. So make sure you, you're reporting these people, you know, or recording stuff like this. And, you know, you can report it to people on Twitter. There's a few people that you can obviously forward these information on to. But again... We're down in P13, and we can see we've got Claxon in front of us. He's took his penalty there. He got a penalty for taking us out, and now we're right behind him again. So, round two in the second race. What's going to happen there? He's almost letting people pass there, it looks like, because he just wants to take us out. So, you can see in front of us now, we're going to have to try and figure a way to get past him without, obviously, ruining our race. You can see he's going very slow through the corners. Um... He's clearly just going to try and take us out. So we're going to fast forward this action now. As we come through this phase, you can see he's going to go past that driver. We're going to go past that driver as well. And then we're going to have a look at going past him there. But we're not going to try and go for a move. You can see I'm just being too hesitant. I'm just literally left, right, left, right. Just not really wanting to go for a move because we're too worried that he's going to take us out. So again, we get a nice exit off the corner. And we're going to go to the left as he tries to brake check us and then tries to push us into the wall. And then again, he's ramming us there. So he's trying to take us out and he's going to try and push us off to the left again now, which he does. He does the exact same thing again, pushes us off the track. And that's the second time in this same race. So again, yet again, this driver constantly ruining races. Disgusting driving. I think you lot will agree. This is not what we want to see in online racing. Now, a lot of people are going to say, go and play Forza, but this is not Forza. This game has a matchmaking system with safety rating and driver rating. Other games, you would get banned for this. So hopefully PD, at some point, can start taking action against these type of drivers because they are ruining the online. And I'm guaranteeing you a lot of people who are watching this video now will not be racing online because of drivers like this. They'll be avoiding it. They won't be going near it. And it's a shame because there is a lot of fun to be had. I... 100% think this driver is disgusting, but do we have amazing races on this game? Of course we do. We have some of the best racing out there. So don't always be put off by, by these drivers. These drivers are the minority. The majority are good fun and you'll have some great racing with. So remember that they're not all like this. And I do advise you give the online a go. You will come across idiots like this, but it's not every day that you come across these type of drivers. So again, you can see who we've got in front of us again on lap nine. We've got Klax on there in P10. And we've got a car in between myself and Claxon. So we're going to have to try and find a way past him yet again without being taken out. And it's going to be interesting. Can we actually manage to get this moved on? So following behind the Porsche in front of us, can we get a good exit from here? He hits a curb and that's given me a free position as he hits that sausage curb and promotes us up to P11. But now we've got Mr. Claxon in front of us. Will he try and take us out again i'm pretty sure you know the answer to this so we have a little look up the inside here but i'm not going to go for that i actually back out there you can see now he completely backs out to let us through on purpose because he obviously wants to take us out into the corner so i break on the inside here so he can't take me out into that corner and now he's going to obviously try and take us out again on the straight so we're working down here now keep your eye in the mirror chat everyone in the comment section everyone keep your eye in that mirror and you're going to see as we come into the braking zone keep your eye there he goes for the move to try and take us out we see it coming completely avoid him and he's gone way too deep there now he rejoins the track now keep your eye on the mirror again now we're gonna have to take a really tight line here because we got p9 in front of us so we take a tight line we see him really late going for the kill and he misses basically he does give us damage but he doesn't take us out and he's off the track but we lose one position but i'll take losing one position to mean that he is out of this battle now and out of the race so watching it again from his view 
Let's watch him try and take us out on this straight. So as we're coming into the breaking zone, he's going to go for that kill. You see, he completely misses. He's yeah, He had one motive there. Pretty obvious what it was. And now we get past him. And now he's going to go for an absolute wipeout. However, he mistimed it. He hits our car at the perfect angle to not take me out. But puts himself in the gravel. And he's going to get frustrated as he takes about 10 years to get back on track. He gets a three second penalty. And yeah, he's going to get really frustrated, I think. I think he ends up typing something into the chat. We're not going to go into that. But... Yeah, he typed something into the chat and then he's going to end up just quitting out the race. So pretty much sums up these type of drivers. They're there, they're there just to ruin people's races. And this isn't going to happen every day on the game. Like I say, 99% 90, of the races are really good fun. These people ruin the, the minority of races. And it's time that PD do something about it and try and get them... Some sort of temporary bans, even temporary bans, I think would be, you know, maybe good enough. Just weekend, you know, two day bans, something like that. As you see, he's rage quit out the race and that leaves us now into P11. So can we try and recover this race? We've got four, four, four laps to go, four or five laps to go here. And we're going to have to try and recover. Now, P10 has got a two second penalty. So we should be able to get past him without too much trouble because, you know, he's going to take that penalty. So he runs a little bit wide there. We're going to go up the inside and put ourselves up into P10. Let's see if we can break late enough to take this line. He leaves us space, fair race in there, and we're up into P10. So now we've got another car right in front of us there, P9 right in front of us, and we're going to try and see if we can catch this group of cars up through these corners. So as we go through here, you can see we've got a bit of a gap, 1.4, 1.5 seconds to the next car. It's just a case of can we get through these cars and see if we can get our back us see if we can match what we did before we managed a p6 before when he tried to take us out from the back of the grid let's see if we can get ourselves up a few more positions and recover a decent result out of this race p9 runs a little bit wide they saw a little bit of dust kicking up and now we're starting to catch him up and he's gone completely wide there now and that's going to promote us up to p9 now we've got two more cars in front of us there p8 and p7 you can see them not too far in the, in the distance so we're going to skip ahead and we're going to skip right through to the midway point on lap 12 and we've managed to get ourselves right behind p8 we're going to go for a move up the inside he run we both go through there side by side we had to back out a little bit but good racing there he did give us space but now we're going to see if we can get past this aston martin in a different corner so into the braking zone we're not going to be able to go for a move here we're way too far behind he goes a little bit deep there that's going to give us the ability to get really really close through here so through this left hand corner where we just let the car coast can we go for a move Again, a bit too far, but we're going to throw it to the right hand side and we go for a nice move up the inside. And that's a nice move done into P8. And now we're going to go after P7. Can we get ourselves up into P7 now? So again, as we come through the final corner, though, I don't think he was very happy about our move on him, even though it was a fair move. He just barges us out the way there. A little bit wrong, but we're going to send it back and make sure that he knows that we're not too happy about that move. We're going to send one straight up the inside here. So into the braking zone, back up the inside, and I think he realised that was coming. He leaves the door open, and we're back up into P8. So, yeah, maybe that move was a little bit of a mistake there, where he sent it into the final corner. Maybe he didn't mean to do that, but it was a bit optimistic, that move that he just did. And now we're going to skip through to lap 13. And you can see there, start of lap 14, one lap to go we're in p8 can we get ourselves up into p7 so we're going to try and see if we can get past this corvette just so that we've got a reasonable finish from the back of the grid considering what happened at the start of the start of the race again so up the inside trying to go around the outside now the corvette backs out lets us take that and we're up into p7 so not a bad recovery yet again in this race and then as we come through here we're going to go through this right hand corner and then into the next left hand corner and i think as we come through here are we going to gain another position as we come through this left-hand corner? We see a yellow flag out, and that's going to promote us up into P6. So P, P Steve again, up to P6. And again, we finish the race. Two P6s from the back after getting completely wiped out the race a number of times. It's not the worst result ever. So we managed to recover something. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you come across drivers like these? What do you think of them? Do they put you off racing? Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button and I'll be back with more videos and live streams in the future. Thanks again for watching, everyone.